Well, hi, Amelie and Jem. Thank Hello. you Hello. so much for taking time to speak with me today. Thank you for having me. I just screened the movie last night. It was a lot of fun and surprisingly emotional, which I was not prepared for. So thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> Amelie, you've been killing it with anime covers for a while. And I was super excited when I read you were cast as Uta. How did all this happen? How did it feel to get this call that said, hey, you're joining one of the largest anime franchises ever? Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I I love Uta. I, I loved her character from all the fan art I saw when the movie came out in Japan. And um, uh, I'm a big, big Addo fan as well, as well, which is her singing, her singing voice. And so when I got that call, I was I was super excited. I was like, are you sure? <laughs> I was like, I really love her. So I'm I'm really honored to be a part of it. And One Piece is iconic. Um, so I'm really happy to be a part of such um, such an, a memorable anime and such a memorable character. <laughs> Will you be covering the songs? From oh, the movie? yes. Yeah, I'm working on every <laughs> single one of them. I'm going to be uploading one on release day to kind of commemorate and celebrate the release of the movie. So I'm super excited. <laughs> That's amazing because I was already like, I need to know. <laughs> so I could be watching out for that. <laughs> <laughs> so you both are kind of portraying new characters in this film. Did you go into it blind? Did you both read the manga, watch the anime prior? I always tell people that One Piece, you know, as a as a story, is a gift for character actors. If you can sound strange, because Oda's designs are just they're wild, and every time you see something, and what does this thing, this person, this creature sound like in English? And it's been great over the years. But I'm really excited about Warden because a he's he's relatively human, aside from his obviously he had a head injury at some point in time, but um. <laughs> He's he's a he's a normal human being, in the sense that he he sounds like he sounds like a regular person. He's not growly or yelly. He doesn't have giant shark teeth. So, and uh, his story also was there's a lot of pathos to it. You know, there's there's some drama, which I this is the first time anybody's entrusted me with a dramatic role, and just it felt so good. It's it's amazing. <laughs> incredible i'm so excited for everybody to hear thank it thank you <laughs> same <laughs> what about you did you read the manga at all or watch the anime i i've watched a, a little bit of the anime but it is like 900 episodes so i'm a little bit behind um i i also voice uh queen otohime from the fishman arc so i've seen like a little bit of the show many years ago uh for that role but uh since that was kind of like its own thing in the story um it's kind of nice to be able to like have a character that like talks to the other main characters and since queen otohime was like in the past i didn't get to actually have any scenes with the the iconic leads or anything so it was really cool to like actually have that chance and um yeah, the, the the story for this movie is just really, really captivating. Um, and so it was really amazing to be able to portray those those different ups and downs uh, throughout the movie. You kind of touched that you got to work or be, at least be in the same scenes as mm -hmm. the iconic characters. Were you able to record it all? Did you guys kind of do like a Zoom like this to kind of work on any of that? Or was it all just separate? Oh, sadly, no. We all record separately. That would have been awesome, though. <laughs> But yeah, it's like it's ADR dubbing. We all record separately. Um, but um, we did get to I got to hang out with some of the cast at the uh, the premiere, which I, j I wish Jim was there. You were there in spirit. Don't worry. Yeah, I had a I had a convention to go to that weekend. And uh, when I when I got the invite, I was reading it and all the details and no, it's Saturday. So yeah, <laughs> I was uh, I missed it. But I was uh, I was there in spirit. Yeah. Um, I will say one nice thing is that uh, it's always fun when some other roles have been recorded before your time in the booth, because um, sometimes you get to play off of those already recorded lines. And uh, it, yeah. Yeah. I, I was the last one to record, I believe. So everything oh. else was done with but me. So I was like, this is great. I get to just play off of all these amazing performances. Uh, so that was really fun for me. A gift, truly, <laughs> to be the last to record because I get to hear everybody else. <laughs> yeah, you definitely had it easier then than just going in totally like, I don't know what these people are saying. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <sounding> like. <laughs> is there anything about your characters that you feel you can relate to? go ahead first Jim, if you have an answer okay well, you know <laughs> what i really like about the uh the character is well the whole story overall is um 
it, it focuses on the family, um, the, the found families, the families that you make. And uh, I, Gordon, as an adoptive father, it's uh, it, in a way you know, he cares for Uda as if uh, she was his own daughter. And it's um, it, it's you can you can see that in his character. You could feel that. And I'm just going to stop talking because I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> But, um, I've seen it, so. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's as a side note, um, like my stepmother uh, for my dad's second marriage, I mean, I, I love her as if she was my own mother. Um, and yeah, the same thing with my mother in law. You know, it's I've, I've known her for, you know, two decades now. And it's, uh, yeah, it's you, you love the family that you make and uh, or the family that you have. It, it, you know, it's a beautiful story. It really is. A chosen family is a very, a very key element of this movie, which is really beautiful. Um, for me and Uta, I mean, definitely our love for singing, I think, is an obvious, an obvious answer. Um, but I do love how her story is a little is is quite similar to mine in the beginning, at least, because uh, she finds these transponder snails and she pretty much like streams herself uh, singing to the world, uh, which is what I've been doing for the last the last sixteen years on YouTube, uh, is posting my music and. Um, yeah, it's just, it's truly a, a love to like, just see the response of people like listening to your stuff and replying to it and building that community. And so I, I do, I do um, connect to Uta that way and her love for sharing music with everybody. <laughs> just not the whole taking over the world. And, yeah, maybe you know. <laughs> not that far. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think when you, I know you talked, you talk, talked about the fan art Amelie, when you first saw Uta's like drawings, but when you actually saw like the the development, like from the team that created the movie, like what did you think when you saw her? Oh, I I mean, incredible. I mean, all the all the song animations are beautiful. Every single frame is a wallpaper. You could screen capture it and put it up on your desktop. It's it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's 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 so much more beautiful than I ever imagined. But I I love her design as well. I think she's got a great design. I mean, Jim mentioned that um that all the designs in One Piece are amazing, and I I love that they they focused on a a female lead this time. I think it's really cool and groundbreaking, and I think that's that's really awesome that she gets to be in the spotlight. <laughs> I saw I saw online that they're selling Uda's jacket. Oh, I bought it. <laughs> a rep oh, you bought it? Yeah, of, of course you bought oh, it. And I was like, give me this jacket. <laughs> I just, I okay, just now I'm like going to Google that. Overcoat. <laughs> yeah, so we'll find you one. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm like, man, I need that. It's I so loved her design. I was like, oh my gosh, she's amazing. I love her. Yeah. Okay, so last question. What about Red, the movie, do you think fans are going to be the most excited about? <laughs> Go ahead, <Jibble. laughs> I... I, I Red is really different because it is it's it's a musical, I think. In in comparison to the others, they I mean they went in a very unique direction with this, and it's it is this sounds corny, but it is visual splendor. I mean, all the um uh every, the color and the the use of music in time with the animation, and it's just oh gosh, and the, the dance animation is amazing. It just it's so fluid and it just it, it's pretty it is a pretty movie and you do have your action and the action I, it's just it's it's bigger it's bigger than because the show's great and you get that that dynamism in everybody's uh fruit powers in the show but here it's just dialed up to the infinite it's amazing looking it's like you said every every frame is a wallpaper ah, it's really gorgeous yeah <laughs> Yeah, and the, and the music is a, is a key part of the whole movie. I mean, the music drives the story, which I think is an, a really cool element that hasn't really been used in the in the show yet. Um, but yeah, I think this I think this movie is going to it's really going to be different. And I think fans will find I think every kind of fan will find something they love about this movie. Like there'll be, it'll be the music fans and then there will be like the, the fans that just want to see like a cool boss battle uh, or like a, a big fight. Um, I think there's a little bit of everything and obviously some some fan favorite characters to show up. Maybe. Oh, yeah. There's so many there's so many cameos yes. and oh yeah. Yes. yeah sit through the credits mm -hmm. oh yeah i did i did i was like oh my god there's more yeah, <laughs> yeah. that finally like you're saying the boss battle that final battle 
when it kept switching back and forth with the camera between, you know, the spirit, like the dream sequencing and the, in real life, I was like, oh my God, I love this <laughs> so much. I could just watch this on repeat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. <laughs> well, thank you both for thank you. all of this. I'm excited for everybody else to see the movie. I'm going to watch it probably again tonight. I watched the dubbed version because I wanted it because I'm you know, speaking to you guys, but I'm going to go back and watch the sub version, I think, tonight. <laughs> Very cool. I, well, I'm so glad you enjoyed it, and I hope um, we'll enjoy it on November 4th as well. <laughs> yeah, I've got my IMAX tickets. I'll see you on the big screen. <laughs> yes. The big, big screen. Oh my god! <laughs> you need to see it on the big screen. Like I was, I was fine at home, but like God, I, that like I said, that last battle and then like the music note, like all that stuff. I was like, oh, I need to see this and like in my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gonna be like fans in the crowd and like when they start to like you know ooh and ah and like at the end when everyone like cheers like at, at their favorite character showing up. Like I think it's it's really special to have that moment. <laughs>